page is just a cover page. I don't know how that article got in there, but you got 28? Yeah. That's the wrong, that's the wrong article. Oh, I didn't look at it, the one I gave her. So the safety and health article, you're not no, we're not providing any, any changes. To and that was there supposed to be something else there? Yeah, right here. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Insurance. Ah. Health insurance. I'm proposing language back that you would get the same as all other employees, but we're also this year proposing changes in our health insurance. I have that. And I'll give that to you. All right. okay. Do you know we haven't had an increase in the bi-weekly rates since 2007 and right. co-pays and deductibles haven't been increased since January 2009. So we're proposing an increase in both of those. Okay. And then in the future they you just get the same as everybody else which we want to add. And what we're proposing on the bi-weekly rates, as you can see, they currently maybe $15 bi-weekly for everybody. And then on the co-pays are either $5, most of, them, most of them are $5, as you can see. If you go to that page, okay. you can see what the current is. You see the column, yep. the co-pay increase. There are three that are $15, and there's some that are $10, but most of them are $5. 
Yes, yes. And this is to really fill the hole, to help fill the hole. It won't fill the hole in the uh, health fund. Because uh, we are self-insured and basically it's what we take in, we pay, and employees pay covers the, the bills. Uh, and then the last thing I think you have in there, and by the way, you can rip that, say, say it can help out. That was the wrong, I don't know how that got in there. There is nothing on that one. The last one, just a date change. Oh, well, no, the next one is the way, just 3%. We're proposing a 3% increase, effective October 1, or upon ratification this agreement by the union and approved by the county council, whichever is later. The base rates will look 3%. Right. And then the last one is the date change. The, the agreement, the one-year agreement. The one-year agreement. And this, on the second page of the uh, pay increase, where it says elective hours and all that, that's just how it currently is, you're not proposing not any changes. Any changes. Change. Okay. Just okay. Only to strike out the red, anything else right. didn't change. Okay. Uh, the underlined and struck out, everything else stays the same in that article. Okay. Any questions or anything like that? It's pretty um, clear. Yeah, not, not specifically. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty clear what you're proposing. So I think we're ready to look at the lieutenant one. Okay. This is the lieutenant's. And it would be the exact same changes. Okay. Well, if you didn't have much on the other one, I don't think you got anything on that one. And the other one's going to be even more simple. And of course, we'd be doing the health insurance also. We're, we're current, we're right on that normally anyway. And you know anyway. All right. Do you have any questions, Mike? Mm -hmm. I have a couple of general questions. Okay. And these are criticisms or anything like that. I just to be able to go back to our members and explain to them. Mm -hmm. um, plus, I'm curious myself um, that with a three percent raise, uh, how much it will cost the county, like. And I'm assuming it will come from the fire fund, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you have a figure on that for like annually, how much it will cost? I didn't have that for you today. I you don't have it for you. I can get that for you, but I didn't have it today. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to get that. And um, also, and I'll ask you this, and you may not, honestly, you may not know this, but do you know if we're still projected to be short in our budget next year with the, with the proposed uh, budget that is there? I heard uh, from Chief Smith, I think, and there's been so much budget talk that I thought I heard something about 1.4 million short. I'm not sure, but I 